Okay, so Bazooka has Bazooka 93 has uh, recently released this video, which is about Harong and Tekken 8, and this is going to be the full move list on PS5. Uh, I'm going to go through this and just give you an idea of what I think is good and what is what is wrong. And as I expected, I wasn't really looking forward to Harong, although I love playing Harong, but he, he still has most of the weaknesses that he had from Tekken 7. So it's still going to be an absolutely, absolutely difficult character to use. Okay, so these are his, uh, you know, uh, little, these one, one twos that he has. If I was a, you know, if I was a developer uh, or a director, I would have said that give him a one and mid. So he should have had a mid. In the new in the new Tekken 8, he should have had a mid which would which would accompany his one and two. So it'd be one, two, and one and mid. It should have been a mid. Either it would could have been an interruptible mid. I don't I don't really care, but he should have had a mid. The problem is that he doesn't have a mid in, in this one two. And I don't like that. It should have had it because this Haurang's neutral is very slow. We know that already. Most of the time you have to use one two to get into flamingo and what they could do is they could give him a mid as far as i can as far as i i mean in my opinion he should have had a mid so one and the right should have been a mid it could have been a variation he could have had one two but he should have had a mid as well and an interruptible mid or one that would leave him in minus two or minus three i, I mean whatever but he should have had a mid and that that a mid should have given him plus frames so he could at least have like six plus frames or something so that he could just you know get his down three four or something like that of course i know that down three four uh like it's 17 frames and all that but you know what i mean at least uh, i mean if i would say that give him eight frames and it would have probably been a like a huge advantage for him so it sh there should have been a mid in, in this one too uh, it could, could have been an interruptible mid i don't care okay so that's the peacekeeper okay so this this uh heat phase known i don't know okay so this is a language that i can't really understand uh i do not know about the mechanics i do not know about this so i do not know whether this can be interrupted or anything i simply don't know about it probably it can be used as a as a punisher this is as a pun yeah, as a for punishing this could be used and I think it would be guaranteed. I'm not sure though. Okay, this is a very slow low. Very, very slow low. That's okay, that's a heat engager. Okay, so I think this is going to be interruptible. I think this is going to be interruptible. This combo that he just did, I think this is going to be interruptible. Last hit is probably going to be inter interruptible. I cannot believe that I can just look at this character. I can tell that people who are going to use use uh, how wrong will they'll still struggle. I mean, at this point, it is. Uh, I'm surprised though. Okay, so that I think was a was that a mid? I think that was a mid. Okay, so this is good. This is a low crush again. I've watched this entire video. Harang still doesn't have does not have a good high crush or a high crush. Uh, he does have a high crush counter hit launcher. A uh, firecracker, by the way, is a high crush counter hit launcher. It's even even in Tekken Seven, but he should have had a high crush with would which would just launch a person. He should have had that. Or skyrocket should be completely a high crush as far as uh, as far as I can. I mean, as, if I was the director, I would have said skyrocket should be a high crush. Okay, so that's good. This is a good addition that you can actually enter. You can basically, I, I don't know whether this is called a heat engager or heat smash. I think it's called a heat smash. This this goes into heat smash. So that's a good thing. Okay, Trinity Claymore. That's a rage art. I've seen this already. Okay, home surgery, which does not work uh, on in ranked. It doesn't really work. As far as I can tell, it's basically uh, the the people who know about this will duck and they'll just uh, block it. Okay. 
Oh, that's nice. This is this is a nice addition. So it does stagger a person. This mid will stagger, which means you can follow up. But there's a problem. The stagger should have been very close. So even if you get the stagger, you probably won't be able to take advantage of this. As far I mean, you can enter the power crush or you can enter peacekeeper. No, not not good design. This is not good. The stagger should have kept the uh, should have kept the player quit, uh, close so he can go for a down three four or something. doesn't really work this by the way this is a counter uh, this will knock back on counter hit like if you just use the two and then you use this uh, flying three forward three then you're going to uh, this is a counter hit a knock back as far as i can tell at least bazooka will be able to tell to uh, tell this to you i think this is the on counter hit. this is guaranteed like if you use uh two not one two if you just use two okay yeah, this, this, I think on counter hit, this is guaranteed. Okay, so this is actually good. I do not know how many plus frames it's going to leave leave a person on, but this is probably the, you can say this is probably the uh, equivalent of the, well, the axe kick that Haorang does after down 3-4. So he does down 3-4 and then down 4 with 3. I think this is, this is going to be an equal, uh, equivalent for that. Or it's going to equal that so probably this is going to leave a person uh, leave how wrong and on plus six and plus eight so you can probably get a guaranteed down three four if this hits uh this uh i believe that they should have given him the launcher back the launcher that he had in tekken three so a hit and then a launch that would have been an advantage big advantage really uh this is duckable so he should have had two she should have had two mixes one that would be a high but the other one would be a mid so like uh i think up back three up back three four is a mid mid so he should have had something like this over here so he should have had two mixes one that's going to leave him in super plus which is going to be a high but the other one in not not in a not really a plus but it would catch people ducking he should have had this plus the 333 three, three, so he should, he should have had two but that's okay again doesn't work at high in at high level kavis has made it work but just on in one tournament very useful i'm happy that he still has that very useful but we used very rarely like, I do not know why people get hit by this very often in ranked, in Tekken 7 at least. His punishment, uh, his punishment should be better. This is, this again, this is not good. Like, uh, it, it should have been, a, like, you should have, ha should have bigger punishes. This should be a knockback. It should be a knockback. Again, this is probably going to leave him in minus 14. Okay. This is a new move. And this is probably going to lead to combos, as far as I can tell. This is actually good. It's interruptible, though. As far as I can tell, this will be interruptible. It should be a mid. It shouldn't be a high. This should have been a mid. This, the third hit should have been a mid. Oh, this is not good at all. All of these are highs. This, the, the third hit should have been a mid. What are these devs doing? This should be... I'm, I can still tell that this is 16 frames. It should be 15. This should be 15 frames. This should be 15 frames. 15 or it should be... It should be 14 or 15 frames. How wrong neutral is very slow. And this should be more evasive. I hopefully... I mean, the dev should have like given him a Paul like movement where he just moves completely out of all attacks. He should have had that. This again is a very unreliable in Tekken 7. He should completely evade all moves and then hit hit this hit hit uh, this move. This is more evasive than the than the left one actually. This is more evasive even in Tekken 7. This is more evasive, but it should be like very evasive, like super evasive, which it is not right now. And we know that this doesn't counter hit uh, launch anymore. You know that. Uh, again, this this one this punishment which is a 13 frame punishment i think punisher 13 frame punisher it's very unreliable man i uh, really i mean 
the rewards are so like if you if you do this from neutral you're gonna get punished this they should have like um, made two variations of this the first variation would have been like a natural combo you can say um, i do not know whether it's called a natural combo but guaranteed if you hit the uppercut then you also hit the hit the hit the uh the left kick they should have had a variation of this where you would get a lot of plus frames and Hauran would do the uh do the do the i believe it's called the flamengo rocket from there to get a lot of plus frames like around the plus seven or plus eight that should have been there unblockable of course and on block you would get uh, you could you could get this get this and it could have been interruptible this would have been better again this is a very very good for punishment but i mean ball has a much better uppercut really this is good this is good this is good by the way this is homing as well and now I, as far as i can tell how wrong can actually um uh, can actually basically uh, do this homing move from both stances, like for both uh, left and right flamingo. He has this now, so this is a huge improvement. Like you can catch people that are that are sidestepping now, so Aaron will not have that problem where people sidestep him all the time. So this is probably one of the only smartest things that the developers have done, as far as I can tell. And of course, uh, this and the other thing that I was actually taking a look at. Okay, this is the punishment. Okay, uppercut. Uh, okay, that's good. Okay, claymore. Okay, so this is probably going to be a a guaranteed hit. I, I think if you hit, if if the first gets hit, like if the first kick gets hit, if you hit the first kick, then or, or the entire this entire sequence will land probably. Uh, this I believe is a punisher, so at least I got that. The down 3 4, there's the down 3 4. Firecracker. Was that a counter hit? Second, was that a counter hit? That can't be possible. Like, that looks like a counter hit. Anyway, this is a, 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 this is a natural combo. This is uh, basically the only usable high crush. I know Kavis and others don't use it, but this actually launches on counter hit on in Tekken 7 right now. But I don't think this is a natural combo. If this is a high crush, if this is a high crush, and it launches, uh, if if it if it's a guaranteed natural combo, then this is probably the smartest thing that the developers have done. They can make it 22 frames. I don't care, right? <laughs> Although I think it's 19 frames. Is it 19 frames or is it 20 frames right now? I I, I don't know. But Harang needs this. Harang needs a high crush launcher. He needs. One. This should launch on counter hit. This is the, this this also uh, knocks down a person on counter hit, and you get a guaranteed back three in Tekken Seven. I'm pretty sure you get it over here as well. I think this is faster. This this is faster now. Again, the stealth needle. I don't think anybody will use it, and they should have replaced the stealth needle with something else, like a longer range punch. They should have they should have done that. Because this move is not used, I don't use it. I've seen people in rank use it, but again, I'm not good in mirror how wrong matches, so I'm pretty sure that against a good player, the, they will launch it every single time. Again, this should have been this should should have this should have more range. This uh, this uh, this one, the bolt cut should have should have more range. It should be totally extended. I don't like this that they have still like reduced its range. That is horrible. Plasma blade. Uh, counter hit launcher. This is a counter hit launcher, most likely. Uh, this one, the what is that? Nose bleeder. Nose bleeder should should be a counter hit. It should be a counter hit launcher. In fact, I think it is. But but there's a there's a but. It's very unreliable. It's not very good. It's not as good as King's. I think back. I think it was back one. King's back one, where you just like hooks a person and it's a counter hit launcher. It should have been as as good as that. It should be 12 frames as well. 12 or 11 frames. So this I use sometimes. Fadeaway kick, it's useful. Not useful. Jump kick is not useful. It's only good for, good for. Um, it's good for basically. It's good for combos. The scorp scorpion side kick should be homing. This should be homing. The bloody guillotine, very useful move. Super useful move. Bone stinger should should be 17 frames. 
unless it's already uh, no 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 it's pretty slow so hunting hawk is is good now it's going to leave a person on plus frames i believe and it forces crowd so probably you'll get a guaranteed down three four after this if it lands okay ah uh, the the air raid that, that's good Flashing Pride, and this is good that they uh, that, that you now uh, that, that you now land in in your in your stance. So that's a good thing. I don't think you do right now in Tekken Seven. Not sure. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, wait a second. Why did I forget it? Does it try like the flying Trident? Does this does this leave you in right foot forward? Wow. The, just didn't play Tekken for two days, and I'm forgetting things anyway. So delayed rising toe kick. Uh, used at high level. Spinning Axe Kick, one of the most useless moves that Aorang really has. It's so slow. It's very slow. Peacekeeper is steppable. It should have 100% cracking. Torpedo Kick. That's nice. This is the most useful move in any Tekken game. Once you do this after a round ends, and if and if it and if the other person takes it personally, you, you will probably most likely win if you can use Sanzao's tactics as well. So yeah. Again, this should oh wall bounces are no longer in the game. So this is I mean this is fair. Skyrocket should be a safe launcher if it's not a high crush. If it is a high crush. It should be unsafe, but if it's not a high crush, then it should be. It should just be safe. I, not the lethal skyrocket, the Talon skyrocket, as it was, it was called, or just frame skyrocket. Uh, on keyboard, doing it is extremely difficult. I, I practice it so much so I can do it, and due to this, my actually my finger, this one is damaged because of I've, uh, because it requires like this this kind of uh, grip, not a grip, but this kind of uh, like um, like a hand position to get this done. Uh, I, I think it should just be a safe launcher. Okay, it should be a safe launcher. Because our own Rayleigh's neutral is so bad. Okay, so this is probably a replacement for his... Uh, for his... Uh, what was that? It was the 14 frame... I believe it was the 14 frame... Um, up, back, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, a back 3-3. Three, three. And I don't really use it much. This should be 13 frames. I think it's 14 or 15 frames right now. I don't like this. This should be 13 frames. <sighs> okay. Okay, so if this is not 8 frames, it's still useless, really. If this this move, the Shinami Cake, is not, uh, does not give you an 8 frame advantage, this is useless, and it should also jail a person so they can't sidestep. This is a very, very useful move, really. Very useful move, because you can actually, like, if you if you do not do the second hit, you'll actually go very far away from your opponent, so they will not be able to uh, hit you, basically. So this is, this, is, this is very useful. I really, really like that. This should be faster, a bit, a bit faster. This should be a 13 frame uh, low. This should be a 13 frame low. It's super slow right now. It's also slow in Tekken 7. And nobody really uses it. I mean, at least I don't see anybody use it. Very useful. Except that I think it's interruptible and it's also duckable. This should have been a mid. If this was this, if this is interruptible, it should not. It should not be. Uh, it, sh it should not basically be a high, as far as as, as far as I can tell. But in my opinion, this should not. This shouldn't have been a high. This should be a guaranteed, uh, guaranteed launch, uh, guaranteed knockback. It's not a launcher anymore. This should, this should be guaranteed. If you, if you get the, if you get the uh, second hit, like, uh, sorry, this entire string should, should be, should be guaranteed. I think it's not. You'll be able to block the last hit. Uh, this should actually have two variations. One where it has a, uh, Harang has a high. The second where he has a mid, because this is super duckable. Backlash doesn't launch. I'm happy with that. Uh, 
this should be guaranteed. On hit, it should be guaranteed. Ah, oh, cheap shot. Okay. Nice, plasma blade. This is good, I think it's a mid, right? This is this is a mid, this is fine. This, this move is okay, it's a low crush mid. It's fine. Probably interruptible. Uh, this... This kick, right? This one that you see over here, this one, the, the right side kick. People have to basically uh, continue pressing forward or down to enter Flamingo. This should not be like this. I think as soon as you hit the side kick, you should enter Flamingo. Because on its own, this kick is useless. Okay, so this is actually a good move, except that it's slow. And this should actually have been a high crush. As far this should have been a high crush. This should have been a high crush. If this was a high crush, it would have been very, very useful. And I think this is a high. Oh no, my God, what are these developers doing? What are these developers doing? They could have made this a mid, a punishable mid. They could have made it a punishable mid. This is so bad, it, unless this is a natural combo. If this is a natural combo, then it's fine. But if this is not, they should have made this a mid. If this is a natural combo, then that's fine. I think this is the variation of the down three, probably the down three, four from the other stance. I think this is the, yeah, this, I think this is a variation of the down three, four from the other stance. I mean, it's okay. Uh, this is, oh, this is actually down three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this should this should have been a mid. I, I think that should this one this variation should have been a mid and a punishable mid. But if this is a down three four from this stance, I'm I'm okay with it. Except that no, I think this should have been a faster 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 like a twelve frame, a twelve frame guaranteed on counter hit uh, counter hit uh, natural combo. This should have been guaranteed on counter hit and should have been a mid, not a high. They should have had two variations of this, where Haorong would actually do like uh, a down 3-4 from here. And then he could also do down 3-3, three, three, where he would get the plus frames. So they should have had two variations of this. One would be the high one, and the second would be the plus frames one. And the, and the second hit could have been interruptible. So that's what they should have done. Again, this should be a 13 to 14 frame low. This, this is guaranteed on counter hit and Tekken 7, I think it's going to be over here as well. This should, be, should have been a high crush counter hit launcher. The only counter hit that I believe he has, okay, so this is fine. This this move that he has, this one, the uh, the Blast Fist, it it leaves Harong, I think, on plus six frames, which is okay. And there's nothing wrong with this, like, it's fair. Uh, the... The nose bleeder from the uh, okay, so this is a high crush that Harong has, and it it launches on uh, launches on counter hit. Not sure whether it's still it's still like it. This happens in in Tekken eight, but in Tekken seven it does. This is good. This is actually very good, except that it should it should launch anyway, or it should knock back at least. It knock back over here. I'm pretty sure it did. Oh, it does doesn't knock back. Hang on a minute. Doesn't knock back. Uh, no, uh, sorry, knockdown. It should knock down. I'm, I haven't been saying knock back in this entire video. It's a knockdown. This should be a knockdown. Okay. Okay. Uh, this staggers a person, does it? Okay, that is a stagger a bit. I really like this new move, this one. Nah, it should be a launcher. It should be a launcher. This should this should launch a person. A very good addition. Thank you, Des, for having a brain. Nice. Ah, uh, this is what I was talking about. The claymores and, and and what's it the claymore? I do not know what that uh, what forward forward three uh, for, forward down three does. I mean, I'm not sure about that. 
Oh, sorry. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. What I'm saying is that the forward down, uh, down forward three is a homing mid kick. This now Haran can also do these from both stances. So I think that this is going to be fine. As far as I can tell. Okay, so that's the bloody Claymore. The Flamengo low right, the down 3-4. Combat low. Stealth Needle. Good, left Thunderbolt. Flamengo Screw Kick. Okay, so we have the Flamengo Screw Kick, which I believe is going to be a guaranteed... Yeah, this is actually useful. This is one of the most useful kicks that Haran has right now. It's mainly because I know that for certain you can basically do the do like uh, you can you can mix a person up. So this is actually pretty useful. Wow, oh, the I mean there are certain developers or directors who have a brain in tech in, in the in in, in the uh, tech and development team. So they do you know uh, make some good decisions sometimes. This is one of them. Again, flamingo hunting hawk. Very good decision not to not to uh, basically uh, knock knock the opponent down, because from here I think a down three four will be guaranteed. Very very good decision, very good decision. The flamingo flashing flashing trident is also available. Oh, it was it's all available even in Tekken Seven. What am I talking about? Okay, so Harong still has his ten hit combo. Which can be extended actually. This can this you can actually extend it with a down three four, I believe. Okay. That's cool. This is this is a very good decision. This is such a good decision that they've made. This one where where this kick is actually going to just completely like knock a person back. Very good decision. I'm not I think they've probably taken the down uh, like the forward down or down forward three from the right flamingo. So I think this is the replacement for that. So I'm, I'm happy with this. This is okay. Uh, now you can do this as well. This is this is such a good decision. Very good decisions these people have, have made. Some of them. Like some of them. Like uh, out, of, out of all of these, probably 5% of these decisions have been good. This is going to be, a guar uh, this is going to be guaranteed on camera hit. I think. You'd have two variations of this, by the way. I think that there should be two variations of this uh, of this uh, thing that he does, the flappy kicks. He should have a he should have a launcher, like he should have a launcher. But he also should have one where he does he he basically does the low, a uh, low kick. He does that. He should have, should have had that variation. Oh, he still has that. Wow. Okay. Probably it's going to be guaranteed on time. Okay, so this is again not very useful. This is going to be super slow. It's going to be interruptible. So I, I don't really like this. I seriously don't like this. I know that you can, uh, probably is going to stagger on the first hit as well. I, I, I don't like this, man. Really, I don't. I really don't like this. I think this is too slow. And it's probably going to stagger. If it doesn't stagger, then that's fine. Okay, so he has a power crush. Nice. Uh, this is going to be interruptible though. And this is a high? It, uh, don't tell me this is a high. Is this a... Oh, that, that's... No, no, no. Hang on a second. Oh my god. Such a slow move is a high. <sighs> Unbelievable. This is a good addition. Good addition. Okay. This still has a Raha. Okay, that's good. That's good. And these are things the throws. Yeah, these are throws. We already, I mean, the throws, we're not really frustrated with them, are we? Anyway, have fun.